In this video, we will discuss the anatomy of the cornea, exploring its structure and function in detail. Starting with an introduction to the cornea, providing a comprehensive overview of its anatomical features and topographical layout. We'll then examine the cornea's histological aspects, offering insights into its cellular structure. Following this, we will explore the intricate details of the cornea's nerve supply and its nutritional mechanisms. To conclude, we will highlight key takeaways, summarizing the essential aspects of corneal anatomy. The cornea serves as the initial diopter within the eye's optical system, playing a crucial role in focusing light onto the retina. To ensure a sharp and clear retinal image, the cornea must maintain complete transparency and have the appropriate refractive power. Unique among body tissues, the normal cornea is avascular, meaning it does not contain blood vessels. This characteristic is vital for its transparency. Despite its lack of vasculature, the cornea is densely supplied with nerve fibers, making it one of the most sensitive tissues to pain. Consequently, any damage to the cornea, such as scratches or abrasions, can result in the formation of opacities or clouding. These opacities can obstruct or distort vision by interfering with the passage of light through the cornea, emphasizing the importance of its integrity for clear vision. Let's delve into the anatomical characteristics of the cornea. As a clear, transparent extension of the sclera, the cornea plays a pivotal role in vision by covering the anterior one-sixth of the eyeball. The cornea's distinct shapes, elliptical on its anterior surface and more spherical on the posterior, are essential for its optical functions. This aspheric nature allows for efficient light refraction and focusing. The curvature of the cornea is a critical feature. Its anterior curvature has an average radius of about 7.8 mm, while the posterior curvature is slightly steeper with a radius of 6.5 mm. These curvatures are vital for the cornea's refractive capabilities. In terms of thickness, the cornea displays a variation from the center to the periphery. The central region, which is crucial for light transmission and refraction, is approximately 0.52 mm thick, expanding to about 0.67 mm at the periphery. This gradual increase in thickness from the center outward is essential for both structural integrity and optical clarity. Environmental and physiological factors, such as hypoxia, low oxygen conditions, and the natural aging process, can influence corneal thickness. An increase in thickness can impact the cornea's optical properties and may be a sign of underlying health conditions. Functionally, the cornea is a powerhouse in terms of refractive power, contributing to about two-thirds of the eye's total. With a refractive power of roughly 43 diopters, it plays a significant role in focusing visual images onto the retina. Clinically, it's crucial to note that any irregularities in the corneal curvature can lead to astigmatism. This condition, characterized by an uneven curvature, leads to distorted or blurred vision, as the eye cannot focus light rays evenly onto the retina. The anatomical structure of the cornea showcases a distinct contrast between its anterior and posterior surfaces. The anterior surface is convex and shaped elliptically, a form that plays a crucial role in focusing light. It is continuously coated by the tear film, providing essential lubrication, nutrition, and protection against infection. During the natural actions of blinking or eye closure, this surface is also covered by the palpable conjunctiva and eyelids, offering protection and helping to spread the tear film evenly across the cornea. In contrast, the posterior surface of the cornea is concave and circular, and it lies in direct contact with the aqueous humor. This positioning is strategic as the posterior surface forms the outer boundary of the anterior chamber of the eye. Additionally, it serves as the roof of the iridocorneal angle, a key structure in the drainage of aqueous humor and the regulation of intraocular pressure. Around its edges, the cornea integrates with several adjacent ocular structures. It is closely related to the conjunctiva, which itself lies over the episclera and sclera. This relationship not only reinforces the structural integrity of the eye but also plays a role in the immune defense of the ocular surface. The cornea also borders the drainage pathways of the aqueous humor at the level of the limbal transition zone, an area where the cornea and sclera meet. This zone is essential for maintaining the balance of fluid within the eye. Concerning the histology of the cornea, it is composed of five distinct layers, each with specific characteristics and functions, situated behind the precorneal tear film. 1. The epithelium, serving as the outermost layer of the cornea, constituting about 10% of its total thickness. 
It is a multilayered, non-carotenized, stratified squamous epithelium that serves as the primary defense against environmental damage. Its regenerative capacity allows for quick healing from minor injuries. 2. The Bowman's layer, located directly beneath the epithelial layer, Bowman's layer provides additional protection to the stroma. This acellular layer, composed of densely packed collagen fibers, contributes to the cornea's structural integrity. Although it cannot regenerate, its role in preventing deeper corneal damage is vital. 3. The stroma, is the cornea's thickest layer, making up about 90% of its total thickness. It is composed of parallel collagen fibrils, keratocytes, and an extracellular matrix. The precise arrangement of the collagen fibrils is crucial for maintaining corneal transparency. 4. Desmids membrane, produced by endothelial cells, this thickening basement membrane provides durability and elasticity to the cornea. Its ability to continually thicken throughout life is a unique aspect of corneal anatomy and function. 5. Endothelium, the innermost layer of the cornea, the endothelium's primary function is to regulate corneal hydration. The endothelial cells actively pump excess fluid out of the stroma, a process essential for preventing corneal edema and maintaining the cornea's transparency. The limited regenerative capacity of these cells highlights their vulnerability, making their preservation vital for sustained corneal health and clear vision. After exploring the different anatomical characteristics of the cornea, let's now delve into the nerve and nutritional supply. Concerning the sensory nerve supply of the cornea, it is primarily derived from the ophthalmic division of the trigeminal nerve through the nasociliary nerve. These nerves are responsible for the cornea's high sensitivity to pain. Although the cornea does not have thermal receptors, it is sensitive to mechanical and chemical stimuli, which can also induce pain. In addition to sensory nerves, the cornea contains autonomic sympathetic fibers. These nerves do not contribute to sensation but play a role in other physiological responses, such as regulating blood flow. Clinically, the corneal reflex, involving blinking in response to corneal stimulation, is an important sign of trigeminal nerve function. A decrease in this reflex can indicate damage to the trigeminal nerve. During anesthesia, the loss of sensitivity in the cornea is often one of the last sensory functions to be diminished, reflecting the high density of sensory nerves in this area. Concerning the nutritional supply, the cornea receives its nutrition primarily from two sources. The aqueous humor, a clear fluid in the anterior chamber of the eye, supplies nutrients such as glucose, amino acids, and vitamin C, and also helps remove metabolic waste products. Additionally, the cornea relies on oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange through the tear film. Oxygen dissolves in the tears and diffuses through the epithelium to reach the corneal cells, while carbon dioxide produced by the cornea is expelled out through the same route. This dual system of nourishment and gaseous exchange is crucial because the cornea is avascular, meaning it lacks its own blood vessels. This avascularity is essential for maintaining corneal transparency and optimal vision. Therefore, the balance of nutrients and gases through the aqueous humor and the tear film is vital for corneal health and function. To summarize, the cornea forms the fibrous layer of the anterior portion of the eye and primarily functions in refracting light as it enters the eye, playing a crucial role in vision. The cornea consists of five distinct tissue layers, each contributing to its overall function and structural integrity. The main function of the outer coat is to protect the internal structures of the eye. It acts as a barrier against environmental factors and pathogens while also contributing to the cornea's overall optical properties. The stroma, which is the thickest layer of the cornea, contains collagen fibers arranged in a precise manner. This organization is key to ensuring corneal transparency, as it allows light to pass through without significant scattering. The endothelium plays a critical role in regulating corneal hydration. The endothelial cells actively pump fluid from the stroma maintaining the cornea's appropriate thickness and transparency essential for clear vision. Each of these aspects is integral to the cornea's function, contributing to its role as a major refractive element of the eye.